Hey friends, welcome back. Today I've got our December monthly budget recap, so stay tuned to see how we did. If you're new around here, I hope that you enjoy the video. Please consider subscribing to be a part of the family. We would love to have you. This is our December monthly budget recap to see how we did the month of December with all of our spending. Um, we did some traveling. Obviously, we had Christmas, so there was lots going on. The kids were out of school for two weeks. So did that affect our grocery budget? I guess you'll have to wait and see. So for income, I don't show you the exact numbers, but we did bring in uh, a, quite a bit more than what we expected. I did some babysitting during the month and Will had a little bit of overtime. But starting with our fixed expenses, these are the ones that don't change very much or that if they do fluctuate, it's by very little. So our rent, life insurance, internet, electric, and Netflix were all 100% to budget. So those are the same amount every single month. Uh, we also have Hulu, but it's included in our cell phone plan. Sewer, we budgeted, um, we came in $5.03 over. Sometimes that happens. I feel like every few months it's a little bit higher. I usually budget 20, I think 20 or 25 there. I don't know what happened. Anyway, we spent $5 more. Cell phone was $213.62, so it was just slightly under due to taxes and stuff. That includes both my husband's and mine, and then my sister's cell phone is on there as well, but she pays us for her portion, and that's just included in the income portion of the budget. Uh, <clears throat> excuse me, my mouth is gonna get dry, I can tell already. Water, just like sewer, we came in a little bit over on water, $4.15. Adobe Photo Suite is $56.17 a month. That gives us up-to-date access to all of the Adobe products, such as Premiere, which is what I use to edit these YouTube videos, Adobe Photoshop, InDesign, After Effects. All of those programs get used in this family um, between my husband and I. YMCA family membership is $65.59 a month. We were right on with that. Groceries, now I mentioned we traveled for a week in December. We went home to Michigan for Christmas. Um, which meant we didn't have groceries that week. So we actually came in under on our grocery budget by $65 and 22 cents. Gasoline, gas prices were super cheap. I was really surprised. I budgeted 275 for all of our like standard running around like here at home and then the drive to Michigan, which I knew we would be visiting families and all sorts of stuff. Uh, we only spent $166, so we saved $108 in that category. So for the fixed categories overall, we came in under budget by $165.88. So pretty good. Flexible and sinking funds. Miscellaneous, we didn't budget anything. I ended up spending $9 on postage. Um, for the kids category, we budgeted $140, which was our average. So let me pre preface this by saying, the amounts that are listed here as our budgeted amount, those were the averages of the previous 12 months. Um, not to say that that's what we were going to be spending, but I, these categories kind of throw me for a curveball once in a while. So I wanted to budget what the average was for the previous 12 months. And for the kids category, that happened to be $140. Luckily, we only spent $44 on that, which was their um, classroom parties, supplies for like cookie decorating and all that good stuff for Christmas. And then I ended up getting some clothes for each of them, which I don't even remember what that was now. Pet care, uh, we budgeted 20, we didn't spend anything. January, I think we're gonna need pet supplies for our hamster. Household, we budgeted 100, we went over by 21, 28. Um, some of the expenses in that category this month included a new shower rod, ours broke in our master bathroom. Wrapping paper, um, a new kitchen rug, some pillowcases for our bed, and then almost every month I buy a few things of wax melts from Walmart or Meyer, like less than $10 worth. But I melt wax in my warmers every single day. Clothing, we didn't spend anything. Personal care, we came in under budget by $33.77. Um, we did buy probiotics and I spent about $40 on hair products at Ulta. New shampoo, conditioner, a bunch of miscellaneous stuff. Medical and health, uh, we went over budget. Will was sick in the month of December. He actually went to the doctor right before we left for Michigan. He had an ear infection, and so we had a copay there plus his antibiotics, and then just my regular copays and whatnot for the month. For fun money, uh, we knew that we were doing a few things in the month of December, so we budgeted 65. We came in under budget by $8.25. 
Uh, this category always includes the $10.59 for Spotify, which we use on our phones and then also for our Amazon dots throughout the house. Southern Lights is a Christmas light festival here where we live, so we did that, which was I think $17. And then we took the kids to see Wreck-It Ralph in theaters, which was almost 40 or something like that. I don't know exactly. Maybe 30 something. Um, we did a matinee. Movies are just silly expensive. Dining out for the month, we came in under budget by 1887. We went to Freddy's Steak Burgers for um, food and dessert one day. We went to No Baked Cookie Dough, which we did a vlog on that. I'll try and I think that was the same day we went to the movies. I think. Maybe it wasn't. Yes, it was. I'm all sorts of confused. Um, anyway, no baked cookie dough, which is an edible cookie dough place here in town, and then um, McDonald's on the road to Michigan and home from Michigan. Auto savings, this is an actual sinking fund. $210 gets sunk into this fund every single month, and then we have a balance there for whenever we need to use it. This covers things like car insurance, which is due Actually, I just paid that last month. It's due in January, but I paid it in December. Um, so you don't see it coming out of this category, but we did pay our, our car insurance with the balance that was in there. Um, it also covers like car registration, oil changes, any sort of repairs, anything like that on the cars. And then gift savings, we put $200 into, um, it actually just helped cover some last minute gift shopping. I'm sounding kind of nasally because like my nose is doing something strange. Ugh, I can't swallow. We've all had like head colds around here. Anyway, gift savings. That amount's going to increase in 2019. You'll see on January's budget. Um, we have a very large family, so that, that covers all of our birthday giving, all of our Christmas giving, anniversaries, Easter, Valentine's Day, you name it. If we're giving gifts to anyone, including like immediate family, uh, it comes out of that category. We have 13 nieces and nephews. On the debt category, my husband's student loan, the minimum is 198.46. I'm just gonna round it up to an even 200 for ease of, I don't know, I like even numbers. So we sent $200 to that. <clears throat> uh, Naviant is my student loan. I should really round that up to 125. Maybe I'll do that this coming month. Uh, we paid the minimum on that. And then medical, so I had two, two hospital bills. Um, one was from an ER admittance that I that happened like um, just over a year ago now where I was admitted through the ER for two days. So I have a payment plan for that which is 190, it was 165 a month. Um, you'll see the note here, that payment plan went up by $30. I don't know why, I feel like they removed, like it was supposed to be paid over the course of 12 months and they changed it and they were gonna pay it over the course of 11 months or something, but that plan went up to 195 a month in some odd sense. I had a second one that I was paying like $60 a month on um, for spinal injection, steroid injections in my back from the beginning of 2018. And that one only had a balance of like 130 left on it. So I just paid that sucker off. So now I only, so that's why we went over budget by 74.46 on like over budget. We sent more, we paid off more debt. That's a good thing. Um, so that's what happened there. I paid off one payment plan and the other one went up by $30. So that, that's what we're looking at there. And for savings, we don't put anything into our joint savings right now. We have an emergency fund that is funded and then some because we are a single income household uh, for the most part. I mean, I bring in money, little bits here and there, uh, but my husband is the only one working like a stable job. And then Jackson and Alice each got their $10 in allowance. And if you want to see more about how we do allowance and commissions and chores in our house, um, I'll link a video that you can watch that. So that was our December in a nutshell. We actually did very well, I feel like. We cash flowed a lot, including Christmas, so that was a good feeling. And we came in under budget on gas and groceries, which is huge because those categories, I feel like, um, I'm usually going over by a little bit, especially groceries, not so much gas. But that was our December. So drop me a comment down below. Let me know how December went for you. Was it a total mess because of the holidays and traveling and everybody being off schedule with like Christmas breaks and stuff? Or did you do well? So I feel very um, pleased with how our December went. So that's a good feeling. Uh, stay tuned later this week for the January budget with me where you see me sit down and show you what our plans are for the month of January, brand new year. Um, I'm excited. Hopefully 
we can keep things on track. Thank you so much for watching. Until next time, I'll see you later. Bye.